Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to Japan Airlines crash, how all 379 on board survived. I've not actually looked into this much. I know this happened about a week ago now from when I'm reacting to this. And I know the like, the crew died or the pilots died. And it was just two planes colliding on, I think it was just in an airport. I mean, I think it's just a passenger airport, just like an um, airplane. And it's just like, and it could have been anyone pretty much. Like, it's just a freak accident where they collided um but yeah almost everyone survived i don't know much about it though so i'm gonna like get into it and really find out what went on because again i've not looked into it so yeah let's check this out and see what went wrong 179 pass all 379 passengers and crew on board a Japan all 379 passengers and crew on board a japan airlines jet managed to escape after a collision on a runway at Haneda Airport, wait, it's going quite quick. His jet managed to escape after a collision on a runway at Haneda Airport in Tokyo on Tuesday. The passenger plane was engulfed in flames soon after crashing with a Coast Guard plane. Five of the six crew members on the smaller jet died. Oh, this, okay. So the people on the big, the big plane all survived, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. But the nearly full Airbus A350 jet managed to evacuate. See, the thing is, you're told to stay in your like, because obviously, I guess it may, it makes sense to a degree, right? I mean, you're being told to stay in your seats because if you all rush out, you're gonna have um, like a stampede and people get stepped on and stuff, right? You want everyone to be able to escape. But if you're being told to sit down whilst there's a fire all around your plane, I mean, fuck me. Safely in under 20 minutes. But there are lots of things about that aircraft that, that help to protect the passengers. Here are some of the factors that led to this successful evacuation. At 5.47 p.m. on Tuesday, Japan Airlines Flight 516, an Airbus A350-900 traveling from Sapporo in northern Japan to Tokyo, collided with a Coast Guard plane. JL-516 was burning on the outside, but crucially, it was not yet burning on the inside, and so the race to save his passengers started. So whose fault was it? The way uh, an evacuation usually proceeds is that once the plane has come to a, a standstill, the flight crew usually give the command to the cabin crew to initiate the evacuation. And the flight deck will normally tell the cabin crew which side or which exits they can use. Japan Airlines said it took some time to get the doors open because flight attendants first needed the pilot's confirmation that the airplane had come to a complete stop and they needed to check whether it was safe to evacuate. To operate around the world, aircraft manufacturers must prove to regulators that passengers can evacuate a plane in 90 seconds using only half of the exits. They conduct tests under conditions meant to simulate real life but experts say the tests often fall short of replicating real accident conditions. It's only when you have a real accident like this that you get to see exactly how that, that works. For the A350, there are four pairs of exits, so there are eight exits on the aircraft. So the certification test would have been done with four exits. Now, in the A350 accident at Hanada, we didn't have four exits, we had three exits. And we had two exits in the front, so you're gonna. Why are they unused escape chutes? I mean, that surely is a bit like stupid. So there's two right at the front, and there's one right at the back, and there's a lot less people at the front. That doesn't really make sense. Lots of people trying to use that front exit. This is a suboptimal evacuation situation. Experts say the Japan Airlines crew did an impressive job to evacuate under difficult conditions. Flight attendants asked people to leave their belongings behind and remove any sharp heels that might tear the... E Bro, I'm not leaving. If I can get my bag, I mean, I guess it's... You're getting out, right? You're just trying to get out. It's... Yeah, I guess if, you, if you're if going for stuff, you, you're taking up an extra few seconds of wasting up holding up someone else's time, like... Evacuation shoots. But I don't know. I wonder how many people actually get their belongings after this. I guess in this situation, you don't even care about them, to be honest, you just care about your life. Welcome on board. When you've got your big roller bag or your big rucksack or whatever, and you're going down the aisle, you're taking up much more space than a single person would. And so that's making the congestion worse. 
And finally, if you manage to get to the exit with the bag and you take the big luggage down the chute, that can damage the slide. Oh, okay. By 6.05 p.m., 18 minutes after the collision, the evacuation was complete and everyone on JL516 was safe. Experts say the design of the Airbus A350 was also key. More than half of the aircraft was built from carbon fiber reinforced plastic rather than aluminum like older planes. The Airbus A350 is the newest uh, Airbus aircraft. It uses a composite fuselage, as does the Boeing 787. What we've seen here is the first serious event involving an A350. We know that that aircraft met the design standards in terms of strength, in terms of how it might deal with a fire. When you look at the fire, the aircraft seems to have done exactly what you want it to do, which was protect the occupants for long enough that they could evacuate from the aircraft. Airbus said tests show that carbon fibre composites may contain fire longer than an aluminum fuselage. As it heats up, the aluminium loses its strength and you could get the aircraft breaking on the tarmac, breaking its back. Now, with a composite fibre, it retains its strength for longer as it's being heated. Every second counts. Every second can make the difference between life and death. A Japanese transport ministry official said it was too soon to determine the cause of the collision, but a formal investigation would be conducted. Airbus said it was sending a team of specialists to help the Japanese investigators. The accident marks the first total God, that aircraft is done. loss of an Airbus A350 since its first flight in 2013. The A350 is becoming one of the most popular jets for airlines around the world. Experts say there are important lessons to learn from the Haneda crash. For anybody flying, it's an incredibly safe method of transport. But when things go wrong, there's a whole bunch of people who are working to, to try and keep us safe. So, you know, when you get on the aircraft and you feel grumpy with the flight attendant that you don't get your drink quickly enough, just remember that this is a safety professional. And then I mean, I used to be scared of flying and I still hate flying, but it's one of those things now where you just get used to it. Exceptional professionalism of Japan Airlines and their crews on the fast and effective evacuation that saved all of the passengers' lives could have easily had everyone killed here, really. So it's pretty wild how everyone managed to escape who was on this on this plane. I've got to say, it's nice to see passengers not going for their bags and actually doing the thing that matters. Yeah, I mean, in these sort of situations, right, you see there's flames around. You just want to get out, let's be real. Like, I don't think you're even going to think about these other things. Um, yeah, or holding up the plane or whatever, like let people get out, like just go. They don't want to be staying waiting for, you for an extra few seconds for you to get your fucking luggage. That'll all be sorted out after, you know. But um, yeah, what would actually happen though? Say like you've got all your like luggage there. I guess they just refund everything, right? And they'll compensate you and all this sort of stuff. So there's no reason to even worry about it, really. But um, yeah. That's just what I'm sort of wondering. But um, yeah, this is a fascinating thing that happened. Obviously, it was about a week ago now. But to see that everyone survived on the plane is incredible, to be honest. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. Have you ever been involved in a thing, anything like this at all, whether you've had like to evacuate your plane or whatever it is? And for what reason was that? Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments. And until next time, like, subscribe and peace.